Okay, time for another quick hint. This one is on using um, Move Motion Path tool. And here you'll see I have a TIE Fighter, and I'm going to animate this TIE Fighter. I have the move, the regular Move tool, which is T, selected. And now I'll move to frame 30, and I'll move him. And uh, let's kind of make him dip a little bit. And then we'll go to frame 60, and move it again. All right, and then we'll, I'll go back and I'll select uh, rotate. I'll give him a little bit of a bank, just so he uh, looks like he's doing something interesting there. All right, so we have you know it's not a very great animation, but as you can see, he animates. He's moving around. Uh, frame thirty. I'll kind of make him dip a little bit more. All right, so we have a Tie Fighter uh, flying around, and now. <clears throat> um, Let's make a, a, a fleet of these TIE Fighters kind of flying in formation. Uh, control C to c clone. It may be uh, just set to C on your thing. I have it set to Control C on mine. And as you'll see, it looks like nothing happens, but there's actually two TIE Fighters here. So now, instead of using the Move tool, I'm going to use the Move Motion Path tool. I'm going to select that. And now, as you see when we move it, the path comes along with it. And so now when we animate, you'll see that both of these TIE Fighters are kind of moving in unison. I'm going to hit Control c again. And since I still have that Move Motion Path tool selected, when I move him, the path comes with him. All right? And uh, once you've done this and you want, for example, let, let's say this, this guy, we want to move him. We want his path to be a little bit different so that they don't doesn't look so mechanical. Um, <clears throat> I can go back to the regular Move tool, which is T, and now uh, I can start modifying his motion path so I can make him for example, go up like this. And as you'll see, they're, um, <clears throat> they're all rotating at the same rate because when you clone something, the animation comes with it. But Move Motion Path just uh, mod copies the motion path with the item. So um, it's a very, very useful tool, as you can see, for, for quickly. Already in about 10 seconds here, we've created a bunch of TIE Fighters doing their own thing. Uh, so I hope that tool helps you out, and um, I hope this... Um, lesson will, will help to improve your animations.